Hi everybody, welcome to my channel for Ugalissima. My name's Sam, this is where I talk about all things sewing. And today I've got a video that is dedicated completely to free blouse sewing patterns. So just before I start, I would just like to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I discovered recently that I've just hit 11,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I've just been making videos for about three years now, so um, I can't believe that 11,000 people have subscribed. So massive thank you. If you haven't already subscribed and uh, you like to sew frugally, then I suggest that you do so. My videos aren't coming out quite as regularly as they used to do. They're a little bit more sporadic these days. I'm just in them in when I've got time uh, so if you want to subscribe then that would be fantastic so on to the video so this video was inspired by a couple of challenges that are going on throughout April and that is so April blouse 23 and so recreate the look but I thought it'd be useful to have all the blouse patterns all in one video so that if in five years time you come back and then you you know it's all there in one part in one video so this is not part of the vlog tour for so april blouse 23 or any of the other um challenges that are going on throughout april this is just independent so if you want to know more about uh, the so april blouse 23 um challenge that's going on over in on instagram i suggest that you have a look at either cloth edits uh, video that gives you details of the challenge and the prizes or ruan's at the archer so girl uh, both of the those ladies are actually organizing the challenge and they will give you more details right so on to this video and what what i'm calling blouses um just to define the blouses um i mean what's the difference between a top and a blouse on a shirt <laughs> it's quite a fine line i am just looking at woven patterns today so um you know it's just a i'm I, it's my interpretation of what a blouse is so i'm going to start with um tiana's closet that was quite a popular um pattern designer throughout so frugal 23 the challenge that ruan and i threw out march and i'm wearing one of the uh, patterns that i made for the um for the challenge and this, this is the Nomi blouse so this is just a simple top with a curved hem and you've got ruffles at the sleeve and ruffles at the hem and just a, a buttonhole at the back and I, I'm not featuring that but I thought I'd wear it but T Tiana's closet has got quite a lot of uh, free blouse patterns and she's uploading more than once a week and as I was doing my notes for this challenge she seemed to be doing more and more so I'm only going to feature two and the first one is the Judy blouse. The Judy blouse has got a v-neck at the front with these really big statement buttons which I think really sets it off. Uh, really uh, sort of statement sleeves, big puff sleeves and they go into a, into a cuff. So you need some really special buttons for this one, I think. If that's not your thing, there's no reason why you can't put more uh, smaller buttons on and just more of them. There's that, that's an option. Tiana's Closet has uh, 10 sizes from extra extra small to 5X. Uh, that goes from a 31 and a half inch bust up to a 48 inch bust. So for this one, you can actually make it in your regular size or she is suggesting that you can go the size up as well just to give it a looser fitting. Uh, and you just need a metre or one and a half to one and a half metres of woven fabric. So just imagine those dramatic sleeves in a, something more see-through to and the uh, blouse in more solid. It would give a sort of a really designer look to it. If you're looking for something a little bit less dramatic, you just release the Kira blouse. And this, it, it's got a sweetheart neckline, so you haven't got the buttons down the front. The sleeves are three quarters and uh, less puffy and there's no button plackets so yeah i think this is perhaps a little bit more wearable less dramatic so on tiana's closet she has got the gemma blouse so if lace is your thing this is a really nice uh, alternative uh it's got a bit of a look of victoriana to it to me as this one uh tiana says that she's taken her um inspiration from a cezanne uh, blouse that she's seen so it's featuring a high neck, uh, which has got a delicate lace trim round the round the neck, and then the front yoke detail. There's no darts in this one. The front is actually gathered into the yoke to give you room for the bust, and then you've just got the quite narrow sleeves, which uh, are made in a lace uh, to echo the yoke. I mean, obviously, you don't have to make the make it in the lace. You can do you can colour block it or make it in one solid fabric if you prefer. And then to get in and out of it, you've just got a keyhole opening at the back. It'd be a nice one for office and evening wear and day wear actually, depending on what fabric you make it in. And if you're not if you don't know, if you're not too keen on the lace at the neckline, you can swap that out for a ruffle. You can just omit it completely and not bother with the lace or the ruffle. 
So yeah, there's lots of free patterns on Tiana's closet. They're all ranging from a 31 and a half inch bust to a 48 inch bust. Um, I've just highlighted the couple that I've I've seen here. Like I say, she's she is actually um, uploading them sort of more or less a couple of a week. I love the Basile blouse that she's just recently uh, released too. So if you just put blouse into the search engine, it will bring up uh, lots of free patterns for you. One word of warning though, uh, just make sure that you know what your size you're going to be sewing. I found when I printed this one off that if I put more than one size in, it, there's, there's no differentiation between different sizes. Uh, so it makes it really quite confusing. So just print one size off because they put the seam allowance on as well uh, and do a twirl. That's my, my advice for that one. Uh, they also only do print at home. So there's no A0 file for this. It is... Uh, uh, only print at home not too bad for a, pl a blouse because you don't usually have so many pages but that's just my heads up for that one so on to Maison Fauve now and I have featured both of these before in past videos but I think it's nice to have them all in one one video I'm starting off with the Tilda blouse which is one that I really loved when it first came out featuring these lovely pleats at the front so you've got two sleeve options for this one You've got uh, a, a, a short sleeve that goes into a cuff or a three quarter sleeve and the uh, pleating is actually echoed in the sleeves as well. And then you've just got a keyhole fastening at the back. The size range for this one is uh, European sizes, which goes from 34 to 52, which equals an 80 to 122 centimetre bust. Uh, and that equates to 32 to 48 inches. So yeah, I love the samples that they've used for this one. Uh, they've got they've actually used several different fabrics, uh, including a heavier brocade. So if you're going into uh, autumn winter in the southern hemisphere, that would be a nice one to make for autumn winter. Mason Fav also have uh, the Tribeca blouse, which I, I featured in my so frugal video. Still not made it. <laughs> but I do definitely want to make this. Um, I love the princess seam line that comes up the front here. It gives you lots of opportunities to mix and match fabrics, use scraps up, uh, perhaps put something like lacy in the uh, where the narrow feature goes down the front. You can make it transparent there, uh, or, you know, like a, a lace, or, you know, the cutouts are sort of well positioned to emphasize a bust if you, if you want that sort of thing. So many variations on this one. You can really make your creativity shine through. So this is a slightly more fitted top than the tilde. The tilde is a little bit more flared at the waist. This is slightly more fitted. Again, it goes from a European 34 to 52, um, same same size range. And uh, you do have the A0 option on the Amazing Fav patterns. So for those of you who don't like sellotaping patterns together, I think this is a, a good alternative. Amazing Fav are a French company, but they do have English instructions. So on to mood now. Mood have always got some fantastic options and I thought I'd feature two today. So the first one is the clay blouse and this one is an all gendered blouse. I thought this would be a good option. It's got a, a nod to the Helen's Closet um, Gilbert top, I think, as this one. And that's been really popular uh, in the sewing world. So yeah, you've got a what looks like a camp collar at the front, buttons down the front, uh, and then you've got a front patch pocket, which is optional, obviously. Very loose fitting. I think it'd be a really nice one for holidays and you know, you can feature a, a really nice, uh, bright Hawaiian type print on it. Or equally, you could just go plain and just wear it to the office. So yeah, works well with light flowing fabrics such as a voile or a batiste, it's saying on the Mood website. Um, but yeah, Helen's Closet, uh, if, you, if you're wanting to uh, sort of replicate that that Gilbert top. She's got lots of ideas for hacking the Gilbert top on her website so she could make it into like a shirt dress or slightly more cropped or tie at the waist. It's definitely worth having a look at her blog posts just for ideas of hacking this one. So all the patterns are linked down below in the description box you don't have to go looking for them. They're all down there. Also got playlists featuring all the free patterns. So um, if you're looking for other free patterns, uh, don't forget to have a look at those. Another one from Mood is the Onella, and this is a classic pussy bow blouse. I thought it featured this. You see lots of pussy bow blouses uh, in the paid for patterns. It's such a classic shape. I mean, it's it's gone from the 60s right up to now. So it's I think it's a good one to feature. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I've actually seen Trini from Trini and Susanna um, tie the neck 
tie it differently to make it more modern uh, but keep it traditional as well this is one uh, that you know depending on what fabric you make it in is going to look quite different uh, and I think this one's got buttons down the front as well this uh, this particular one has got quite a wide tie but you can make that narrower if you don't want the white tie you can make the tie as long as you like so moot patterns go from a size 2 to a size 30 which goes up to a 58 and a half inch bust and there's loads of blouses on their website just type in blouse into the search engine and it'll bring up lots if there's nothing that I've featured that you found they are only print at home and moot patterns uh, there's no A0 unfortunately but I do have a video that will help you to download their patterns because I don't find it that easy uh, so I've got a video that helps you help with, out with that so one. on to Peppermint magazine now and they've got the Albion blouse which was uh, designed by Vanessa Hansen and I thought this was ideal for anybody in the southern hemisphere who is going into autumn winter because there's a long sleeved option and for us in the northern hemisphere there's a short sleeved option so this one is a wrap style top it's got um, some buttons at the front uh, on a like a loop clo closure and then you've got two darts at the front to give you some shaping and a dart at the back quite fitted and quite cropped is this one the beauty of this one is that it comes in cup sizes it's drafted for b and d cups is this one so it goes from an a to p uh, which is goes from a 32 inch to a 57 inch bust and maximum of 60 inch waist uh, i think the waist measurement is quite important in this one because obviously uh, it's fitted at the waist and that's where it, it stops it's cropped lovely blouse is this one and it could be a, a bit on the smarter side side i think it's less casual than some of the other ones uh, so yeah nice one for going out or evening wear so on to uh, marie k uh and the libelle magazine so this is a, a dutch pattern company i have featured quite a few patterns from these before you just need to subscribe to the libelle magazine and you will get access to the patterns and the uh, instructions if you open it in in Google Chrome, the instructions are then translated into English. So this has been inspired by a Dutch designer called Matt Visser. And uh, yeah, you've got a drop shoulder with a, a yoke detail and this really interesting tie front. It's actually a, a dress pattern that has been cropped into a, a top. And stitch piping into the seam at the yoke uh, and the shoulder, into the seam of the shoulder, gives the outfit a, a real couture look. Uh, you can also contrast the yoke and the sleeve band. Uh, they've done this in a plain white and then really uh, in, the, in the sample to showcase the print at the front. I think it would also be good to play with stripes on this one. Uh, you know, you can do your stripes in a different direction. Um, and it's designed for drapey fabrics such as a viscose or a silk. Uh, it's available in five sizes, so that's a small to an extra extra large, which equates to an 88 centimetre bust to 117 centimetres, which is a 34 to 46 inch. I thought that was a really unusual one with a tie front, a bit different. Uh, so the next one is a really lovely one and I spotted this when, I was do when we were doing the So Frugal Challenge and this is from Carme Apparel. And this is the Imbi flowy top, uh, just a loose fitting top uh, with a round neck and a back opening with a tie detail, oversized sleeves gathered at the front and back into a yoke, uh, which just sits above the bust. So there's an alternative to put uh, a V at the neckline as well. So this pattern isn't graded. Uh, Kame Apparel uh, seem to sell designer handbags, leather handbags and fabric, which is a bit of a contrast. Um, some beautiful fabrics on there, some beautiful handbags as well, but out of my price range, but beautiful fabrics on there if you care to have a look. They're all Indian block prints and I think that's, this is why she's actually designed this um, this top to showcase these Indian block prints. Now Indian, Indian block prints are only 110 centimetres wide, so she's saying that you need two and a half metres uh, fabric to do this top but obviously if you're making a dress making it in a dressmaking fabric you'll need less uh, but it is quite voluminous you know it's quite it's quite loose fitting so it is one size only this pattern is uh you know she's just done it as a love project so it's one size only uh, she's saying it's a fit to fit uh, an australian size for 8 to 14 which i've worked out is about a 32 to a 40 inch bust uh, but I think there are instructions to make it a little bit bigger on there as well. A beginner friendly sewing pattern. Uh, the beauty of this one is if it, it's available in A4 and A0. And if you are in Australia, I'd definitely check out those uh, beautiful fabrics. Um, I wish I was I was in, in Australia. I would definitely be buying some of those because they're not actually that expensive. <laughs> 
So yeah, love that one. It's definitely on the list. So my final one is from Atelier Charlotte Azou. I've never heard of this designer before, but she's got some beautiful designs on her uh, website. Another French designer, but again, if you open it up in Google Chrome, that will automatically translate the instructions for you. And this is called the Upcycle Blouse. And a uh, big thank you to Upcycle Copycat for this one, because, I, because I'm wanting to uh, join in with So Recreate the Look, which is on Instagram this month, and So April Blouse 23. Uh, I saw an inspiration photograph from Toast, which I'll show you, and I wanted to replicate or at least take some elements from this Toast top. And Upcycle Copycat came back to me with this one. Uh, so yeah, it's perfect for it. I've made a few adaptations. On the blog post, it does tell you how to put a button placket on it, but I wanted to make it um, a hidden button placket. So I've done all those adaptations. I've put a little... Uh, curved hem on it, all easy adaptations really. So this one is uh, a very basic pattern, quite oversized, uh, so in easy to sew for beginners. I did it without looking at the instructions to be quite honest. It's got short grown on sleeves and then it's the sleeves are finished with a, a hem, uh, a band, uh, and then you can have this button placket or not. Um, and then it's the the idea is that you make it from your fabric scraps so the sample that they're using i think it's made with um atelier brunette viscose um crepe i will be making it from little cotton uh scraps to sort of replicate the toast one that i've seen so i've got some bits of swiss dot and brodery and glaze that i'm wanting to use it's available in uh sizes 34 to 56 this is european sizes which is equivalent to 80 centimeters to 132 centimeters uh, which is a 31 and a half inch bust or 52 inch bust print it at home it's only 16 pages uh, that's because the front and the back are um, superimposed over each other so you will have to trace it and you will have to put your own seam allowances on not a big job believe me it, it took me less than an hour to tape it all together and trace it all off. So this is definitely one that I will be making for So April Blouse 23 and So Recreate the Look. But also Refashioners is back on uh, the during the month of May. It started yesterday, I think, and goes into mid-May. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be doing that because I will be using the scraps that I talked about and uh, an old pillowcase as well that I found. So that's the ones that, um, that that I've picked out for blouses. I think blouses are great transitional pieces. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere for spring, summer, great to layer with a cardigan. Equally, they're great for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere as well. So you can be going into the long sleeved ones. Other free alternatives that you could do are, um, you know, if you've got a nice dress pattern, you can hack it into a top. Not really a hack, you just take the bottom off. But um, Mood Society have got a, quite a detailed blog post on how to do that for their Sweet Bear dress, uh, which makes a really pretty wrap top with a dramatic sleeve. So that's it for the blouses from me. Uh, just a little call out for help for, for me, actually. Um, I... I wanted to include a Spanish pattern designer that I can't remember the name of. I discovered a couple of years ago and for the life of me I can't find her. Um, she's got lots and lots of designs for women and girls. Some of them are for paid for, some of them are free. Very similar aesthetic to Tiana's Closet um, but I can't find her. I don't know whether she as no longer exists so word of warning if you see any of these patterns and the that you like them i would definitely um suggest that you download them straight away well, that's it from me i will be back shortly with a so so selfless april video i think that's what it's called <laughs> um that's due in a couple of days and so hopefully i will get this edited and up soon so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will speak to you later bye Thank you.